Hey Weather Warriors, in this video I'm going to be giving you an update on a triple threat brewing here in the tropics. Will any of these become hurricanes? I'm going to be talking about the tropical weather over the next five to seven days for Central America, the United States, and Europe. But before we begin, I invite you to subscribe below if you like detailed educational weather forecast breakdowns just like this. And comment below, what's the craziest weather you've seen so far this month? So let's get right into it here. This is a five day outlook I put together of the tropical cyclone formation potential over the next five days. And you can see we have a 40% chance that that's going to occur just off the coast of Africa. There's actually a disturbance we'll look at here in a second sitting on Africa. And if this forms, it is in kind of a warm environment. And as you know, the warm waters deepen as they move to the West. So will that become a hurricane? We'll play some animations for you and show you here in a second. We also got an 80% chance, at least uh, probably tropical storm potential as we have a disturbance, potential tropical cyclone 16 here, sitting just south of Cuba. And uh, that should affect parts of Central America. So it could be an issue for parts of Central America. And then we got a tropical depression 15 sitting off just off the coast of the Carolinas. And that is expected to move to the east, but will it affect Europe? We'll go over that in a second. And then also, over the next five to seven days, will we see any activity in the Gulf? That's what we'll also talk about. So that's the general uh, look at the tropics, the overview look. And what we're going to look at now is the intensity and timing. This is uh, for Tropical Storm 15 by the NHC, the National Hurricane Center. And you can see this is a very slow-moving system. This is Saturday, and it's still kind of hanging out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Expected to be depression all the way through. But like I said, this will move to Europe, and I'll show you what happens to it in a second. This is the actual satellite. You can see potential tropical cyclone 16 sitting off of Cuba. There is a little more organization now, a decent area of convection that's moving right towards Central America. Tropical Depression 15 sitting here in the coast of the Carolinas, just off the coast, really not affecting the United States. In fact, the storms in the central U.S. are more, more impressive looking than that is at the moment. So I do not expect that to affect the United States. And then we got a, or a, a, a little disturbance here on Africa. And that's the thing we're watching. You see there's a lot of convection down here. So there is a warm instability and favorable environment down here just to the west. And if this moves into that area, again, there could be a chance that this moves into a tropical depression, maybe even a tropical storm. So we'll have to watch that closely just off the coast of Africa. Right now, this is the vorticity. This is the analysis right now. There's a little blip out here. This is measuring the spin in the organization in these storms. I want to show you something real quick. This is a hurricane last year, July 14th, 2019. This is a vorticity field. So this is not a forecast. This is the vorticity field for last year on a hurricane. And you can see how uniform it is. So look for the big blobs, the high valleys of vorticity and closed off height lines. That's indicating a very organized system, in this case, a hurricane. But as you can see right now, we don't really quite have that. Maybe that, the closest thing is that depression just off the coast of the Carolinas. But you can see the other disturbances here in, in uh, Africa and then another one right here just south of Cuba. Now, the one south of Cuba, not particularly impressive in the vorticity field, but there is warmer waters down here. So I do think that we will still see tropical storm formation within the next 48 hours by at least Thursday, Wednesday, or Thursday in that area. And that could be a, an issue for parts of Central America. Right now, this is measuring the instability potential. This is kind of measuring the potential for hurricane and tropical storm development. Again, the most likely areas would be kind of within this zone right here. You know, obviously most of the Atlantic, a little bit cooler off uh, in the, the Africa area, but you can see that the waters become more favorable as you get towards the Caribbean and the Gulf. So should something kind of track through this area or even hit the Gulf, uh, we could be uh, dealing with something uh, big. But at the moment, none of these storms are in those environments except for this tropical storm that I was talking about. So you can see those very high valleys along the coast of Central America that could uh, uh, strengthen right as it gets towards the coast. Moisture-wise, this uh, tropical cyclone 16 potential, really uh, dry on the west side at the moment. There's a decent amount of moisture getting pooled into it from the south. So I'm watching that, but it is pretty dry on the west side, uh, which is kind of good news. And then we have this tropical depression out here. It's a little more uniform with moisture all around it, a little more widespread with the precipitation. And then obviously lots of moisture and instability extending off of Africa. So this is the thing we were really going to want to watch over the next uh, few days. 
This is the actual precipitation. You can see that depression, uh, lots of more widespread precipitation with that. Very localized here in uh, parts of uh, the Caribbean, so nothing overly crazy with that system. But again, it'll be moving towards the uh, Central America area. And then obviously lots of precipitation out here near and west of that disturbance in Africa. Now, 48 hours in advance, still not anything crazy in terms of uh, organization, but maybe something a little bit more closed off here, at least, as we head towards uh, Thursday here in the uh, Central Atlantic. And you can see those disturbances near and off the coast of Africa. Definitely want to watch them. You can see those higher values of vorticity, but still not like a tropical storm or hurricane at the moment. You can see the tropical storm potentially what i think will be tropical storm you know 16 at the moment but they'll name it something and then obviously that's going right into parts of central america so that area will be under the gun uh, with this particular system now what we're going to look at is the uh infrared this is the future infrared for thursday and you can see decent areas of convection near and off the coast of africa so this is the era we're going to want to watch you can see it's really not impressive in Central America. And then this system out here, you know, decent, but not anything crazy either. And uh, moisture field actually increases for this area out here in Central America. Still pretty decent off the coast of Africa. But this area, this high just in the north, has a lot of dry air. This thing's kind of getting sheared out eventually and dry air getting kind of sucked into it. So I don't think that's going to be a crazy tropical storm. You can see the sea surface temperature anomaly is very, very warm still in the central northern Atlantic. So even though that it is cool out there, we got above average temperatures. So a system could, you know, be decent for a while. It's cooler than average near Europe. So that's actually good news. Could hamper the threat just a little bit. Cooler than average here from the recent hurricanes and tropical storms that moved through that area, but warmer than average here in parts of Central America. So that's why I think we're going to see tropical storm eventually in that area and then kind of average off the coast of Africa. Over the past seven days, it's actually cooled quite a bit. Whoops, cooled quite a bit near Africa. And uh, so that could hamper things just a bit. We're not quite as warm as we were a week or so ago. And then cooler in the uh, the Gulf as well and some cooling off the Atlantic. So that is good news. There's generally been a cooling trend, but should something track within this area of the Caribbean, which at the moment doesn't appear to be the case, unless something were to develop here and then move to the east, uh, we are dealing with a cooling trend at the moment. So that's good news. This is 84 hours is going towards the weekend. You can see more organization towards this system in the central and northern Atlantic nothing crazy here off Africa. And then this system out here starts to kind of die out. So this is the actual satellite. And you can see that this particular system, which I will turn into an ex an actual cyclone with the jet stream, but right now it's just not overly, in overly impressive, a little more impressive, I would say than the previous runs, but nothing to be concerned about. There's a little uh, disturbance here off of Africa and some more activity blowing up. And then you can see some activity here just south of the Caribbean, but again, nothing crazy there at the moment either. There's your precipitation field, a very strong high pressure sitting right off just to the west of Europe. And then the actual uh, precipitation field, watch what happens here. This is that little disturbance here as it moves towards uh, Europe, it's actually going to get sucked into the jet stream. So we'll have a little uh, short waves and what that'll do is that'll actually deliver some rainfall towards Europe. So while it won't be a tropical storm, we will get a little tiny wave of rain with the system. So they'll still kind of affect that area uh, as well. And then you see some more disturbance potential here off of Africa. And this is 150 in advance. This is going to be towards Monday and Tuesday of next week, September 7th and 8th. So again, this area, we're still just going to want to watch. There's going to be several potential little tropical cyclones that develop over the next a week or so models sometimes have issues really forecasting these things and moving them into tropical storms and hurricanes so you know we'll take that day by day but there is at least indicating some potential out there nothing in the gulf and nothing right now in the northern atlantic so that's very good news for the united states over the next uh, couple of weeks even though that there's a lot of threats swirling around in the ocean right now it appears that all of them will be weak threats at the moment so that is good news. And then the precipitation, you can see that that little wave here 
that tropical depression does turn into just kind of a wave with light precipitation affecting parts of Europe. And again, conv continued convection off the coast of Africa that will have to be watched closely. And then uh, really nothing over here in the Gulf and Caribbean, which is also very, very good news for the United States. So again, this is the general look over the next five days, 40% chance of potential out here off Africa, 80% chance of potential for Central America. So they will be dealing with a, a decent storm, tropical storm in that area, and then 100%. But again, by the time this gets to Europe, it will turn into a wave with mostly just precipitation as it attaches to the jet stream. And again, the Gulf of Mexico right now appears to be in the clear, but again, the, the most highest potential for formation over the next week or so won't necessarily be in the Gulf, won't necessarily be in the Caribbean, but will actually be out here towards Africa. So this is the area we'll watch and we'll make future updates if we see anything crazy out there in just off the coast of Africa. So hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Subscribe, share this with a friend and uh, comment below what's the craziest weather you've seen so far this year or this month. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon.